Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, ammonium nitrate. So let's work from left to right on the, on the name to just see what's going on, right, and how to write the formula. So the first thing I see is ammonium, right? So I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where ammonium is, but I look high and low, left to right, and I don't see where ammonia is. Ammonium's not on here. What does that mean? Oh, ammonium is a polyatomic ion. And remember, polyatomic ions are never going to be on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So ammonium is NH4 with a plus one charge. Okay, so that was a polyatomic ion. Now I look for nitrate, but I see that it's an ATE ending, and all ATE endings are polyatomic ions as well. So it's not going to be on the periodic table. That's why I wrote what nitrate is down here, but just memorize these two, okay? So nitrate is NO3 with a negative one charge. Now we have both components. We have the charges, so we do this little trick where we take the charges and we crisscross them to just say how many of each we need. This plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I only need one of the nitrate. And then this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one of the ammonium. When you do this crisscrossing, don't worry about these charges anymore. Just focus on the subscripts, okay? Now I'm ready to write the formula. I only need one ammonium. So if you need one polyatomic, you do not need parentheses. So I'm just going to say I have NH4. And I don't even need to write the one here. And the same thing goes for the nitrate. I need one nitrate, so I don't need parentheses. I'm just going to write NO3. And I'm done. Ammonium nitrate is NH4, NO3. Now, for anyone that's asking, how is this ionic? There's no metal in here. Ionic compounds just mean that there is a transfer of electrons, AKA you have to have charges. So anytime that you have a polyatomic ion, it's gonna be an ionic compound because polyatomics have charges and that's what constitutes as an ionic compound. All right? Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And as always, I hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard, and I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.